how's it going Miss Adventurers? Today I am doing the last mission in the Thomas Porter series and it's going to be probably the worst one. Yes, Leech Queen's Demise, which I'm not, okay I'm happy about the Demise part but I'm not happy about the Leech Queen part. And I am terrible, if any of you guys have watched my previous videos at all, I am terrible with um, zombies, um, skeletons, anything like that. I'm, I'm, ooh. Suffer presents. Dark mod fan mission. I am absolutely terrible with stuff like this. I'm, I'm above average. I hope now on the sneaking around part and the stealing stuff part. But skeletons, no. And underneath the fundamental rules of nature, were cast down and mocked. In undeath, ah. Yet from one spark of fear. Erupted a flame of vengeance. Stay or be slain, stated the first rule of nature. Or well, slay or be slain. I'm terrible at this. And through, and through this, the rules of nature could be restored and revered once more. An inscription found in desecrated tomb. The blood red sunset demands that one life ends tonight. Ever after the Glenham Tower incident, the Lich Queen has attacked me several times. Thus far, I've managed to best her in combat, but unfortunately, death means nothing to her, and she keeps returning to me with her murderous intentions. Initially, I did not understand why she keeps attacking me. But unlocking the secrets of the book I stole from her made me realize that she fears me, for I have the key to her demise. According to the book, there exists a ritual or a spell that would break her bond to this realm. If I was to conduct this ritual and then kill the Lich Queen, she could not return anymore. She would die like a common mortal. The information written by an insane alchemist is sketchy at best, but it seems each ritual is unique to the caster. I believe a discreet and stealthy approach would allow me to learn the Queen's secrets and use them against her. So here I am, at the doorstep of the Lich Queen's lair, a derelict castle located in the mountains east of Glenham. I must find her notes and use them to reverse the spell protecting her. Once she is vulnerable, I should be able to finally destroy her. I've cashed in all my previous spoils in order to equip myself to the best of my ability. She may very well be expecting me, so I have to be extremely careful. One of us must perish tonight, and I intend to make sure it is her. Oh god. This seems scary and this is the worst ever. Find the Leech Queen's notebook. Catch a dispel protecting the Leech Queen. Destroy the Leech Queen. The dead needs no gold. Liberate 700 gold from their clutches. Once you're done, exit the way you came. Oh, that sounds fun. What does this change the gold around at all? Nope, it'll probably just make the Leech Queen super ultra hard to do. And I'm going easy. I always go easy. Okay, just let me know in the comments if you want me to try a mission on difficult. I just go easy because, well, it's easier and also I can't do difficult missions when easy is, I find hard anyway. 500 gold, but I stole a thousand, like, roughly a thousand gold last mission. No, you damn it. Oh, yeah, look at all of this. 20? Let's see if I can afford 20 explosive mines. <laughs> well, that's stupid. Holy water. I will need some of those. Grab some holy water. Health potions, yes. I would need some water arrows for said holy water. I'm not sure if I'll need um rope arrows at all. Noise makers may be a good idea. Fire arrows? Will I need a fire arrow? Uh Well, what use would gas arrows be against skeletons? Hmm. 
Decisions! Decisions, decisions. I really want an explosive mine. So let's get an explosive mine. I'll have to be smart about using that though. And let's get one fire arrow. That's all I can afford. That's fun. Okay, and I have 10 gold left. So let's just get two more water arrows and start the mission. Right. This doesn't seem freaky at all. Oh. Knew uh, there'd be freaky skeleton things and this light isn't helping. I mean the no, I no. Let's just use the shade of this tree. There we are. Okay. So when I'm exiting I'm just gonna probably run the heck away. Guessing I have to enter through that door. And objectives. Find the leech queen's notebook because um undead skeletons need to have a notebook. I wonder if he's going to move or not. That moon looks nice. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Don't they just look... Look, they look fantastic. I really like that moon. I like... I like the... Um, the... The... Pink purple... Thing, like the sky and everything. It looks really, really great. I actually like the look of this map. Oh fuck. But they didn't see me. That's a good thing. I'm not entirely too sure how to deal with them. I'm not too sure Holy Water would work because I know I have tried before. Maggie noise. Let's explore. Because, because exploring's fun. Nope. Okay. Get into the house. Thing. Did I just go through that? Yes, I did. Okay. Why not, right? Is it sitting down? Oh, that's a skeleton. Is that alive or dead? Um, uh, by what I mean, that okay, it's dead. Let's just count the word alive as in moving. Scared the crap out of me. There we are. Because um zombies and skeletons need their own little village. <laughs> this is madness. They need their own little village. All right. Oh, phew. I'm paranoid that the Leech Queen knows where I am and she's just messing with me. Because she knew where I was when I handed in the book. And that looked awfully a lot like water. Oh well.
Hello, Mr. Zombie. I don't see anything of use in this house. Yeah. All right, I I'm close enough that I could pat him on the head if I really wanted to, because that's what you do, right? You pat them on the head, yeah. Creepy, and there's nothing in this place. Can use that to climb up here. And because I thought there was something up here. Anyway, let's exit through this door here because there's a door. Oh, okay. I don't know where I'm going with this. Where am I meant to go this? Oh, whispering! I heard whispering. Whispering sounds like fun. How do I take out these guys? <laughs> I really want to save my mine and fire out our and the Holy water for the actual Leech Queen. It's day 37 I've been waiting here. I'm still entirely confused about the Zomba situation. Which... I wonder if I could pass this one of them if I rip my skin off. Probably not a great idea. I haven't got anything much to deal with them, unfortunately. And I don't generally want to deal with them. I don't know how I live off. So aren't I in the pretty messy? Because oh, hello. Because I want to deal with Leech Queen. That's why I stored up on everything. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Let's just hope oh, that one's. I'm gonna go back through here and figure out a smarter way around. There we are, that's how you do it. There's too many goddamn lights, and some you can't even put out like that on. But luckily this one's here is patrolling, so he'll be moving in a second. I just have to be careful with these two. I don't know what their vision or their range of vision is, but this is not a door that I can click on, so that's a fail. Alright. Oh, it actually moves that one. Okay, I'm just gonna... What's it called? Screw it and see if that guy notices. And he does, unfortunately. Oh, he's psychic. Oh, what? No, okay. Um, um, okay, don't attack the thing that you just ran into. Alright, I'm a stool. Pretend I'm a stool. Yes, that's what I am. I'm part of that wooden. Log thing right there. Yes. That must be it. There is no other explanation for it, so it must be this thing here. The bench. I'm a bench now. I'm gonna forever remain a bench. I have no idea what I'm saying, but I'm trying I just want to do stuff. I don't want to constantly camp in one spot for 30 minutes. 
while this is going on. Evil, evil, evil bastards. And I mean the people who made this map, not the zombies. Because they made the skeleton zombie combo in this. I'm really glad that this is actually the last, the last one in the Top Sporter series. How do you guys feel about that, huh? This is, is the very last one in the Thomas Porter series and I have to face off against the Leech Queen, which is um, not my idea of fun. Especially when this game is about stealth, but this seems a bit counterproductive to be facing off against Leech Queen. Still not sure if this is the best course of action. No, nope. okay. Note to self, do not do that. But what am I meant to do? Obviously, I'm gonna have to go through that door. That door seems the most likely option. How? I don't have that good of an aim for water arrows, because the water arrows have to explode above it for the water to allow gravity to fall down on top, onto the fire thingy. Not to show how that's gonna work out. Um. Yeah.